Hey guys, um, as you can tell, I'm sick, um, and today I will be reviewing the PDP Pull and Go Folio for the DS. Um, I got this yesterday, and I was going to do an unboxing, but I felt like absolute donkey shit, so I decided not to, for obvious reasons, and uh, yeah, I have it here today to review. Um, the way I got this was through Power Up Rewards, so I got it for free. Um, two days ago, I went in and I tried to redeem it, and the lady was like, oh, we have two, uh, let me go look for them. And then she spent about 15 minutes looking around the store, she couldn't find it, so she called the other games out. They said they had two, um, but they weren't able to locate them because they were too busy. Um, yeah, so she said they they would call me if they ever found it. They never called me. I called back later, and they told me they were still too busy. Call back tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I guess they're more... I guess that GameStop's located in the more populated part of town. Population of this town being pretty much me and five other people. But anyways, um, yeah. So the next day... I called them again and they still told me they were too busy they were probably eating donuts for all I know um so I called back the original GameStop I guess the manager was there because he told me that they did have it but it was just listed as this the picture online was just different which is why the other lady was confused um so I'm not gonna blame her I'm not gonna blame the other people I'll take their word that they were too busy but uh I'm not blaming anyone I mean I got it it's free I mean what <laughs> I can't really complain too much um, so anyways, here it is, um, yeah, uh, the only one they have is the Mario edition, so I'm not complaining, um, here on the front, we have Mario, uh, kicking butt, on the side it says, new Super Mario Brothers, uh, it's kind of odd because, I mean, when you put it down, you want this to be like that, and now this is upside down, but whatever, it's in this Mario kind of yellow, I personally don't like yellow at all, um, but this is more of a goldish yellow, so uh, it's fine with me. It was free. Why am I complaining? All right, so you open it up, and in here, I have my stuff in here, so this isn't like pure, I guess, but I have my Circle Pad Pro in there right now. Uh, here's a little pouch to hold the charger, and I can take it out. Just take my word for it. The charger's in there. Uh, here we have... Uh, places to hold your games, and this is the main reason why I got it, because I wanted to hold my game. So you have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 21 uh, spots to hold your games, and this is just kind of a empty pouch, I guess, to put Game Boy Advance games if you still have those, I suppose. Um, I don't know if anyone does anymore for their DSs. Um, well, it's hypocritical of me to say because I still have Golden Sun. Anyways, uh, yeah, these are really nice. They hold them really snug. Um, the only problem I guess I have is uh, you can't really see what game you're going for when you're going for it. So, like, let's say I want uh, Resident Evil The Mercenary. So, uh, is this it? No, Tom Clancy. DS game, DS game, DS game, 3DS game. Perhaps this is it. No, that's... Revelations. Is this it? If I can grab it. Yep, there it is, Mercenaries. So yeah, that's a little annoying. I mean, maybe they could have put like a little plastic window right here. But I guess I would have upped the cost, but I wouldn't have cared because I got it for free. Um, oh yeah, this was 13,500 points. Um, okay, Power Up Reward is not technically free. It's just kind of a bonus. I mean, you have to buy stuff. I probably paid more than the retail price for this to get it, technically. Um, the retail price is about 20 bucks, which I think is worth it, by the way. But, uh, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the yellow and black scheme. Um, it looks nice, but it reminds me of bees, and I'm a melisophobe, so I fucking hate bees. Um, I turn into, like, a walking tampon when I see them, and run away really hilariously, according to my girlfriend. But anyways, uh, as you can see, there's two Velcro spots here. And an empty spot. You may be wondering, what's that for? Well, it's for this. And what this is, is a carrying case 
for your 3DS. Um, it also has two game slots, so total of 23 um, spots to put your DS games and however many you can fit in that weird ass pouch. But uh, here, two Velcro spots. This is why they call it the pull and go portfolio, you see? So now you have this. Um, hold all your games. Um, I tried to flip that, but it didn't work. Hold all your games. Uh, you have your DS there. You can put this and then zip it up. And now you have your DS and all your games in there, or however many games you have. But uh, uh, I'm going to do this. I've done it before, but yeah. I can get this to fit in here with all this crap. Um, the way I do it is, as you can see, there's sort of an empty spot here. This, it's kind of like playing Tetris. And I'm going to do this sort of screen, but I've done it. So, kind of stuff that in there, sort of. And there we go. <laughs> I fit my DS uh, games and... Hold on, let me get a tissue. This is what you came for, right? 18 year old blowing his nose. Oh, a picture of Mario on the screen. Okay. Um, yeah, so there you go. I fit my DS, games, charger, and Circle Pad Pro in here. Gives it a little bit of a uh, bump, but I'm not complaining. I got it for free. Uh, yeah, so we'll take that out real quick. But, um, yeah, I even... Oh, it also has a place for an extra stylus if you have one. Okay, like I was saying, uh, even if you don't, if you can't get this for free, I would suggest picking it up. It's 20 bucks and it's worth it. Uh, 21 games plus however many you can fit in here. Um, I think it's plenty for most people. If you have more, I know some people have an unholy amount of DS games. Um, this might not work for you, but you can put like your favorite games in there, I suppose. Um, and this whole feature is really cool. So if you want to go to someone's house, you take this. If you just want to do some street passing, you take this. Um, I personally don't rock the cargos, so this is a little bit much for me. I just where I put it. That's not it. Give me a sec, guys. Oh, here it is. I usually just put it in my little Star Wars pouch and street pass it up. But uh, I guess this is quite nice if you just want to bring your DS in two games or well, three games, um, considering the one in the DS. So that's really nice. And uh, as I demonstrated, you can't fit in the Circle Pad Pro in there. You just got to be uh, smart about it. So yeah. Um, a great product um it's got some nice padding so uh this too yeah i don't mind doing that it's got padding everywhere so that's really nice so it is protective both of them are protective um yeah so great product pick it up definitely if you have a 3ds and have power up reward points i suggest picking it up in it's really the only thing useful on the whole power up reward site, aside from the turtle beaches, but those are those are just ridiculously overpriced. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.